sergeant is sitting at a bar with two pigs on his lap. And a bartender says, hey, you can't sit there with those pigs on your lap. So he says, those aren't pigs. They're my privates. Oh, wait, I got a better one. Wait. Let's get out of here. Mad Movies is about to start. Scove and welcome to Mad Movies with the LA Connection. The clip you just saw is from our version of This is the Army. It was originally an Irving Berlin musical about soldiers who stayed to show during World War II and it starred Ronald Reagan. Now we've taken the liberty to tell a new story by changing the dialogue. In our story, Ronald Reagan makes an impromptu visit to check out the condition of the arm. Time for that touching contest. I won. Uh, I, I wasn't ready. Let's do it again. All right, Sergeant. You know, Captain, it's not as much fun with just two people. Hmm? Why don't we find someone else to join us, huh? Hmm. How about you, Lieutenant? All right. I win. He cheated. He didn't wait for us to say go. The scum. <laughs> you came in second. Hmm. Congratulations. Let's do it again. It was a tie. We're here at the American Heritage Museum, and this is an actual military jeep for government use only. Oh, excuse me. Hello. Get out of the Jeep. Now. Uh, we'll be right back with our mad movie. And now, here's the LA Connections version of This is the Army. Also in the news conference yesterday, President Reagan denied reports that he was contemplating a return to his show business career. Huh? Yeah, a giant cabbage rolled through all the home, killing... Hello. Darling. Sweetheart, you know my secretary, don't you? This is a suitcase. I bought it for you at a yard sale. You put clothes in it. Hmm. So that's how Dad was framed, huh, Mom? That's right, son. If you're going to join the Army, don't bring your laundry home to me anymore. What about lunches? Forget it. And I'm renting your room, too. But, Mom... Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I know you have to enlist and show the whole world there's really no corruption in the army, but while you're there, would you stop by the PX and pick up a $600 coffee pot and I could use one of those $1,500 toilet seats. Your father was so rough on the old one. Is your shoulder still sore from re-roofing the White House? It only hurts when you touch it. Oh, sorry. You did one heck of a job. Thank you, son. You know, putting up the gutters was the hardest part. Yeah, but your muscles are bigger. Remember, the Army's not just a career, it's an adventure. Hi, Mom. Where did I go wrong? Here's your pizza. Thank you. Hold it flat. Hot pizza coming through. Getting cheese on your shoes. Say, Nancy, notice anything different about me? Hmm? Ronnie, um, you shaved your chest? Yes, and I joined the Army. Oh, you dipstick. It beats fighting Congress. Well, maybe they can keep you awake. As president, I can get an inside look at the Army. And look, they gave me a groovy Rambo watch to go with my uniform. So let's go out and celebrate. Well, wait. I can't just march out the door. Who can we get to run the pizza parlor? We can always get George Bush. He never has anything to do. Oh, wait, my hat. I got it. Uh, I'll need it. Mm. There's toilet paper stuck to it. I know. Ron, I don't like your boots. Well, you should have worn your own shoes. Mm. Ow! Oh, sorry. It's dark in here. Can we have the jet, waiter? No, but I can let you have the Hungarian bus board. You know, ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Newton and their job. I forgot my money. I hope Nancy brought a credit card. Thank you. I'm sorry, Nancy. I had to join. Why now? Good career opportunities. What about us? Well, we'll still be together. I don't see how. Remember when I was a big movie star and you were nothing? And do you remember when I was out on location and you weren't? 
gosh, I was good. How can you say that? Do you remember Death Valley days? Oh. I think we better go. The last time we discussed that, things got real ugly between us. Look, you want to join the Army? Go ahead. If you think the security of the entire nation is more important than me, then fine! Oh, wow. How am I going to pay the bill? Hey, uh, you guys keep squinting, huh? It makes you look tough. Yeah. Ooh. Do I look tough? Uh, I'm squinting so hard, I, I can't even see myself in this yeah. mirror. So you're, you're gonna have to look for yourself. I'm going back to bed. Hey, everybody up. You guys kept me up all night with your squinting. Now get up. President Reagan's coming today. Huh? huh. I'll let him wear my zebra costume. Uh, he can share my bunk. Yeah. He's had enough of your bunk, Junior. Now get up! It's time for the earthquake drill. Come on. I'm going to give you a 6.5 on the Richter and you a 3.2 on the Richter scale. And what about you? A 6.8. Now get up! Sergeant, is this true that you've been harassing the men again and short-sheeting their beds? Mm, no, sir. What's this I hear about you always saying to the men, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. Don't you know it's your responsibility to clean your own ears? Well, yeah. Now, go get a bucket of water and put out my hand. Uh, I'm burning. I'm sorry, sir. I can't hear you. I'm on fire! I won. Hey, Yip Yip, quit writing your name on the wall. That recruiting sign needs a splatter design, so take your brush and do this. Blah, 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 blah. That ought to make them join, huh? Great. Shoot him later. We give up. We give up. We give up. Don't surrender so easily. First poke him in the eye, then kick him in the chin, and then you surrender. Uh, I, I'm uh, deadly. Do right? Yes, this is my weapon. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the nuclear-powered blowgun, isn't it? I bought it from Snidely. Oh, seven million dollars? Yes, without tax. Uh, well, go ahead and show us your weapon. Uh, we'll put a target up over here. All right. We'll use the mess all menu. Yeah, we're having mm. spaghetti. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Hi, Junior. Oh, hi. I got my knee caught in the potter's wheel in ceramics class today. I'll have a root beer. His diet. Uh, mm. Hey, what's with him? How'd he get that clay all over himself? Uh, he made an ashtray and put it in the kiln too soon. It blew up in his face. Mm, he looks better. Hey. Laugh if you want. I have to hold a bedpan on my head. What the smell? Uh. Ow! Huh? Oh, that. I'm not sensitive about that. I haven't changed my socks since I was 12 years old. By the way, I got this weird letter from my mom today. Listen to what she says. Dear son, I've missed you so much I let the pig eat at the table. Your father. Sergeant, my shoes got dirty on manures. You idiot. I told you to go out on maneuvers. <laughs> All right, man. Fall out for the party break. All right. They won't all fit in the bathroom. Oh, they're going to trample him. Just missed him. Oh, dear, let me go with you. I can't. It's a men's bathroom. Well, use a sandy seat. Remember, I love you. The vehicles here at the American Heritage Museum were used on several movies and TV shows, including MASH and Amazing Stories. In fact, since 1955, every military show shot used a vehicle from this location. It was here that several important battles were mapped out, such as uh, Battle of the Network Stars and Family Feud. And here's what's being mapped out next on our Mad Movie. It's impolite to point. Do not try this at home. Hey, hey, can't you see we're trying to have a parade here? Get out of the way or I'll have these forest strangers force you to move. I've been standing here smiling and waving on this float for six hours. And this polka band behind me is driving me nuts. Move it! Hey, get ready for the president. It's a hot day, Dad. Take off that disguise. The Army wouldn't take you anyway. You wouldn't lie to me, would you, son? They're changing the laws all the time. And even if they did, Dad, you're too old for the Army. Besides, they got rid of the draft. See, you have to enlist now. So you have nothing to worry about. Son, take this. Get out of my pocket. Hey, hey, stop him. He stole my watch. <laughs> Oh, 
I say, Mr. Bush, there goes the helicopter taking Reagan to the base. Good. <laughs> Uh, with Reagan away in the army, I guess that makes me acting president. <laughs> yeah, one acting president uh, was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see him with that monkey? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, it's uh, too bad he didn't join the space program. We could have sent him to the moon. Uh, speaking of moon. <laughs> Gentlemen, the President of the United States. Sergeant Shriver, take your fingers out of your nose. I just want to say, now that I'm in the Army, I want you to treat me like a regular guy. Just pretend that I'm not even here. Just like they do in Congress. Okay, shoot the bugler. Uh, Muhammad Ali. I whipped Joe Frazier. I whipped Josh Foreman. I could have beat Joe Lewis. I'm the greatest. Well, that's just fine. I'm glad to hear that, Muhammad. You can beat Billy Martin! Move like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'll give you a buck for that coat. Okay. Great deal. Hey, Ron, I'm getting that coat for a dollar. You think that's a good deal? You bet. Originally, that coat cost a thousand. I'm here to change all that, George. You see, I get rid of the corruption in the Army. A coat like that won't cost more than $800. Gee, you're smart. We are young conservatives and we lean to the right. But we join the army, we must not be too bright. When we first enlisted, we took all our clothes off. Then the doctor told us to turn our heads and call. <laughs> Check out that ugly girl up there in the fancy hat. Say, Petunia, is this a cross a hot bra? That's my boy. Ah, he's cute. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bush. You gotta help me. I didn't know Mr. Reagan was gonna be here today. Shut up. Oh, but I can't find the pearls that go with this dress. What am I gonna do, huh? Just get a string of cocktail weenies and tie them in a knot around your neck. It'll be fine. Oh, thanks. Oh, by the way, your slip is showing. Hey, wasn't that guy James Watt? Sad, isn't it? Say, which one of you guys bought a $75,000 water cooler? Come on, guess up. We get tired of drinking the bath water. What's the trouble, Ronnie? I'm no good at oh, this. Oh, come on, just fake it. You've been doing it for years. Don't stop that, your brain's rattling. You're a bunch of stinks. You won't let us get Barbara Walters pinup posters. That's right, Sergeant. And wait till you hear what else he plans to do. Well, what? I could cut the Army budget in half just by eliminating the food you eat in the mess hall. Huh? Corporal Chipmunk, the French troops have arrived. Go welcome them. All right, here's a letter for you. Thanks. Hi, guys. Bonjour. Bonjour. Baby Moses, coming through. Hey, look, it's from Nancy. What'd she say? Dear Ron, I miss you. The garbage is really piling up here at the White House. What? You mean you didn't take it out before you left home? I know I had to. Yeah, so did I. My wife would have knocked my teeth down my throat if I didn't. So would I. Hi, it's time for the Richard Simmons workout. Touch your toes and reach for the sky and get that slab off it. Come on, hurry. Touch your toes, reach for the sky. Oh, stretch. Oh, I'm exhausted just watching. Maybe now Jane Fonda will like me. I'm taking a telephone pole. Where do you want me to put it? Hey, Johnny, want a race? Oh, no thanks. Private, you'll need more meatballs for that spaghetti. Spaghetti again? Yeah. We need three volunteers to go shoot some meatballs. Yes! <laughs> all right, man, I don't appreciate all of you dressing alike to try to fool me. Now, I know that President Reagan is in there among you. Since none of you have pointed him out to me, we are going on a thousand-mile hike to the Falkland Islands. Ready? One. No, true. Oh, uh, sorry. Now pay attention and learn something, men. This is how camouflage works. The general didn't see me, because I dressed to match my surrounding. I know where you were. Yeah, we don't need no camouflage. Yeah, we can hide behind the sarge. After dinner, I'll take away your ding-dong. Huh, I thought they were raisins. <laughs> yeah, I gotta do something about speeding up the mail service. Hey, Ron. Hey, isn't that Nancy over there? Look. Yeah. Uh, you think I should leave? No, Steve, stick around. We always enjoy your company. Oh, all right. I'm hot for you. Uh, gee, Nancy, uh, well, uh, 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 here, take this, Steve, and get the huh? heck out of here. Go on, leave. I'll go plant these raisins. They're jelly beans. Oh, we knew that. 
Uh, let's get out of the way of the Jeep. Steve's a wild man. Yeah. Ah! Park it. All right. This is wet paint. Nancy, there's something I have to tell you. I've decided to uh, stay in the Army. Well, Ron, if you think you look so good in khaki green, maybe you ought to wear this cheap ring you've got out of a gumball machine. <laughs> Let it turn your finger a different color. <laughs> oh, I'd just like to say whoever drew these hamburgers all over our good curtains is going to pay for it. So Reagan decided to stay in the army. Oh, boy, am I happy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I can throw up. Hi, Dad. Well, uh, now that I've assumed the presidency, I demand a little respect. So if you could please just come to attention. Well, maybe I'm asking too much too soon. All right, men, then just a simple little uh, salute would be okay. All right, uh, maybe you could just listen to me. After all, I am the commander-in-chief. Well, I see you're busy, so I'll just salute myself and then wait outside. Goodbye. Oh, yes, dude. Hey, who was that guy? I don't know. Never seen it before in my life. One, two, three, five. Hey, Nancy, what are you doing here? What? Well, Ron, what do you think? Could you go for a girl in uniform, huh? Sure, where is she? Me. You? Oh, Ron, I missed you so much. Besides, one evening with you, Ron, is worth two with the bushes. This is no place for you, Nancy. There's just men here. And me. Well, I don't think they'll let you stay. Oh. I've only been here a short time. I'd hate to ask them and impose. Ask them nice. Well, I'll see what I can do. Let her stay! Uh, wait here. I'll go check on it. Oh, I must be desperate. Hey, don't do that to your pants. By the way, your wife's outside. She's been waiting there for three days. Oh, no, I forgot. There she is. Recognize her? Nancy. This man's been teaching me the hat contest. I won. Uh, but you're not wearing a hat. Since when do I follow rules? Oh, forget the game. What's the answer? I've been waiting here for three days. I don't think it's fair for you to treat me like this. Now I want an answer, and I want it now. What is it? Well, I forgot the question. Oh, it's whether or not I can stay here in the army with you. Well, can I? What is it? Can I? <laughs> oh, don't blow your nose in my pocket. <laughs> Can I stay? Sure, the movie's over and I've got the last line. I'm sorry, Mr. Reagan, but I've got the last line. No, I do. No, I do. No, I have the last line. No, no, I do. The telling old Hollywood films isn't the only genre we tackle. We also like to add dialogue to your old home movies. Tonight's was sent in by Sylvia Smith of San Jose, California. We carefully looked at the footage, rearranged it, and came up with a vision of the future. Here's Future Wives. Studies show that in the future, food will be so scarce that housewives will need high-powered telescopes just to locate a single onion. This specimen is a miracle hybrid, with an outer hide so tough that cooking it will entail the use of giant Teflon spatulas covered on this side, but not on this side, with ionized lard. Housewives on the planet Jupiter will wear flexible shin guards made out of old space waffles, fastened with strips of moon cheese here, here, and of course here, with tiny jet afterburners here and here for flash frying. Jupiter's increased gravity will make it difficult just to slice such an onion, leading to clumsy attempts such as this. Teamwork will be impossible, as extended exposure to these conditions induces a form of space madness in which housewives will lose all sense of direction, leading to increased hostility as best friends attempt to trip one another and smash each other's ankles in with their giant space-age utensils. Some women will strike out, but others will join intergalactic bowling leagues and show off their nifty team jackets. You know, we look at several hundred features before we decide on which ones would be good to dub. And you're probably wondering, what do we do with all the rejects? Actually, it's quite simple. See you next time! I want to go home now. Mad Movies is over.
Well, I'll let you go home, Sergeant, if you can find out where this smoke is coming from. It's very irritating. It's just your cigarette, sir. Oh, good. I thought it was coming from my pants. <laughs> Additional voices by Mark DiCarlo. I have the last line. I'm sorry, sir. I know you're the president and all, but I have the last line. Now, wait just a minute here. I believe that as, uh, as president, I should have the last line. Well, what about me? I think I, it's in my contract somewhere. I, I don't care about my contract. I believe the last line's going to me. Oh, fine. Just go ahead and usurp the power of everything. I tell you, I'm supposed to get the last line. Don't give me that usurping stuff here. I don't even know what it means. Now, last line. I get it. Oh, fine, fine. I have last. I, I'm sorry. I'll just have to. I'll have to take over.